All right, we're diving straight into an Easter weekend forecast. We've got everything from an atmospheric river moving in across the west to a significant warming trend for many of you. Whether you're planning on sticking around at home or you're hitting the road, this is your weather forecast. We've got another round of below normal temperatures on Friday for the Northern Plains, also across the east, but a warming trend is happening here across the central United States. You'll really start to feel that definitely by Saturday, and then as we move into Easter Sunday, all of that starts to push off to the east, so we're looking really nice here as far as temperatures go. Now, there could be some clouds, maybe even some showers, but temperatures are on the way back up. Across the northeast, slightly warmer here too, but not quite as warm as we're going to see across the south where temperatures here will be above normal. And look, here comes some cooler air as we move into the first week of April. And you know, someone asked me the other day, said, look, these temperatures are cold. We're used to this. Yeah, you may be, especially places like Minnesota over to New England. But look, we, these numbers are not where they should be moving into April. And look, another cold blast for the East Coast as we move toward the end of the week. And I'm telling you guys, this could be another round of some decent snow uh, for the northeast and maybe even as far south as the Appalachians. But look at these temperatures heading into Friday, starting off cold again across the northern plains, single digits and teens. I mean, yeah, we get this cold. The record low for today was actually minus one for Minneapolis. But look, we're closer to where our records are than where we normally should be. Temperatures on Friday, though, starting to warm up. How about this? This is nice. 60s and 70s from Oklahoma, Kansas, north into Missouri, Iowa. But we're stuck in the 30s here up toward Minneapolis, where we should be in the upper 40s for highs. We may get to 40, actually, for Minneapolis, St. Paul. But north of that, into the northern parts of Minnesota, likely stuck in the 30s. Also across Michigan, too, a chilly day here. And here comes some colder air trying to work in, at least across the northern plains as we head into Saturday. But 90s across Texas, a very warm weekend here. And then as we move into Sunday, another warm day across the south. Two different worlds. So if you're headed south from the north, be ready for some nice warm weather. If you're headed north, grab the coat because you're going to need it. Across the east, heading into Good Friday, temperatures warm here across the Midwest, all the way into the deep south, even into Florida. We're in the upper 70s, close to 80. But look at this across the northeast. Cool. You're not in the 70s like folks across even now Western Ohio. So Dayton, we may push into the 60s finally, back into the 60s for Indianapolis, over to central Illinois, down into Tennessee. We're not looking nice here with numbers back into the 70s. But here's that dividing line. It's very interesting. Look, you're, you're up in D.C. You're likely in the upper 40s, low 50s. You travel just south to Richmond on 95 and you pop into the 70s. Uh, same thing could be said for New England. We're in the 40s and 50s here. Northern New England may be stuck in the 30s. And then another blast of cold air tries to move in as we head towards Sunday, at least skirt through the northeast. But across the south, we're mild. And look at the temperatures heading into the first part of next week. Man, look at Monday. We've got 80s breaking out here across parts of the deep south. And uh, that warming trend continues heading into Tuesday, too. Uh, in fact, it may push close to 60 up toward Buffalo, but another reinforcing shot, uh, yeah, of some cold air moves back in as we move through the week. Yes, there is some snow in the forecast. Not a lot, but look, we're looking at a couple of areas that jump out to me in the northeast. This would be into the end of the week, and then we've got this across the west, and this here across the Appalachians, that would be with our system toward the end of the week too, which we're going to talk about. So let's go into your Friday forecast. Starting off kind of wet across the northeast, we do see a drying trend as we move through the day. Cold northwest winds will keep it feeling cold too. Even when temperatures warm up, it's going to be chilly with that breeze going. And even if you rain and snow showers here across parts of West Virginia, even into northern parts of Virginia, the mountains, places like Snowshoe, up through Elkins into the higher elevations, there could be a few snow showers here. Don't expect much. And then we dry out and the northeast into parts of Maine, a little bit of snow here, and here comes our atmospheric river moving into the west coast with a lot of rain and snow here. Our next system skirting through the Great Lakes, so heading into Saturday, it could get a little wet here, say from Ohio back into Indiana, Kentucky, and even a little bit of snow on the northern side of this, so the northern and lower peninsula of Michigan, we could see a little bit of snow. That goes for the UP as well, south of uh, the thumb here. I think we're mostly all rain, and then extends into the Ohio Valley, eventually moving into the northeast. As we move into early Sunday, there could be a little bit of snow for the northeast. I don't know that it's very much to write home about, so say from Syracuse, up to Buffalo, over to Albany, north up towards Glens Falls, Rutland, Vermont, New Hampshire, into Massachusetts, and that kicks off shore. I don't want to gloss over what's going on across the West Coast. We're going to watch this trough right here dig in, and look at this low here that's spinning just off the coast. 
a subtropical connection of moisture is just going to feed into this region as we head through Friday, Saturday, even into Sunday, and that's going to drop a lot of rain here. Now, we've seen heavier storms and stronger storms over the winter. Not as much rain as what we saw with some of those winter storms, but still a couple of inches here in the mountains, locally higher amounts too. So flooding could be a concern here. And then up into the mountains, a couple of feet of snow. What's a couple of feet anyway, right up into Tahoe. So yeah, more snow here into the Wasatch, into the Rockies, parts of Wyoming, uh, definitely a active weather pattern uh, setting up here. And again, the Sierras, several feet of snow here, especially above 7,000 feet. Now let's move through the week because once we head into Monday and Tuesday, big changes are happening. This storm across the middle part of the country is going to get really strong. At least it's going to start to deepen on the north side. How about that? A little more snow. Winds will pick up out of the southwest. That's why we're going to see that warming trend heading into next week. And it pushes some of that warm air, again, as far north as the Great Lakes. Really has a hard time, though, getting into New England. And that's why I think we see some snow here in the northern parts of Vermont, New Hampshire, the higher elevations. And I tell you, this could be another dump of snow for places that just saw snow from Iowa into Minnesota, parts of Wisconsin, and then maybe into the Great Lakes. This looks like it's a little further south than the last storm. This is Tuesday, so we've still got some, some time to iron out this storm as we get closer. Uh, and then as it moves into New England, we're looking at that snow here in the parts of Maine. And then this right here is going to be significant for a lot of you in the east. Across the west, though, we warm up nicely with this big ridge. And then what goes up? must come down and that's what we're having here in the east and that's going to pull in some cold air uh, across the great lakes and look at the snow showers my gracious this isn't an april fool's joke i i wish it was but it's not and this is just oh this is this is gross uh you got rain and snow showers here around the great lakes just spinning around this upper low that's spinning and this trough that's digging in like this so we're cold, I think, from Minnesota all the way down to Missouri. Now we're pushing that cold air all the way down into the deep south. Cold for April standards, right? So certainly not Arctic cold, but we're talking about snow, and it could accumulate from the Appalachians downwind of the lakes and then into New England. There will be some warming here, though, I think. I feel pretty good about that. So this could be nice for places like South Dakota, North Dakota with this while the east turns cold. All right, that's all I got, guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you've not subscribed, I hope you will. It does help the channel. I appreciate everyone who's done so. I have done a long-range April forecast. It's right here behind my head. Check it out.